And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucky Lucian, our first of three viewer submitted donation decks. Just got three decks on the docket instead of the normal four because I'm going to be playing some It Takes Two with a boot um, right after the stream. So we'll have a cool variety stream there. Uh, I am going to eventually in a couple of weeks set up a variety stream channel over there on YouTube. I'm recording these uh, you know, different uh, playthroughs with different games and stuff. So it should be a lot of fun over there. If you got ideas for like, especially two player games for Boot and I to play, uh, you know, let me know over there on YouTube. But uh, first, let's play some Legends of Runeterra. We got three decks today. We got Lucky Lucian. This is going to be Action Lucian with some Lucky Finds. We're going to have Profiteer and more importantly, Vicar and Bruiser that they'll be striking, creating these lucky finds. Each lucky find should help give some, some additional bonuses to our two champions and really help our action with the Warlord's Palace, um, advancing that thing uh, each round. So yeah, we just kind of have like a, a deck that's kind of like an action Sivir deck, but we're playing Lucian instead of Sivir, and therefore we're playing like Lucian and Senna and things like that. I think that, you know, if we can get this Lucian to level up, we can get a bunch more rallies and more attacks are going to be better for actions and just kind of everything. Um, and, you know, hopefully get a whole bunch of buffs with the lucky finds. That's kind of what the deck's all about. Pretty low to the ground. Bull champions costing two mana. Um, yeah, that's what it's all about. So let's go and get to it. We'll go play five games in ranked with lucky Lucian. <laughs> Kindred got more power creep. Well, yeah, Senna is basically power power corrupt Kindred. Okay, so we got Sejuani, Gangplank. Uh, I think I'm keeping this hand. This hand looks very good. Hello. I got my bruiser for the top end. We got plenty of other stuff in between. Hmm. Well, that was a good round one for them. The day don't need riches. Don't get in my way. For silver I talk, for gold I lease it. So ideally, I'd have an additional mana for sharp sight protection, but... I guess if Lucian dies, Lucian dies. We got a new Lucian. Oh man, Monkey Idol is so good. Card's good. This one's a fighter. I don't necessarily love anything I can play this round. I could just get a Bright Steel Protector and play, and I guess I should maybe just do that. Hmm. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. The desert prices wow. the right price. That's right. Run. Wow. Well. <laughs> Could be setting up a pretty nice make it rain. Ice Shard? Oh, okay. So, Ice Shard... I'm gonna do this. What do we got here? Hmm. Please no Sejuani. Ward five. Well, that was pretty good. 
push back the darkness. I never You pay! I talk to spirits! These are my room! Where are you, spirit? We are not looking okay, no. We are looking very dead. So that'll have it survive the gangplank attack, but I mean, I don't survive the gangplank attack, so. Ice shard, double make it rain. I went ahead and did it. The ice shard, then make it rain, then make it rain. Our units are pretty small. Also, the profiteer, right? Like that, the pro nabbing the profiteer to have the profiteer block my 5-5. Five five. So we got a kind of a race here with them having Lulu and Zed. Definitely like the concerted strike to try to take down like a champion. I would have really liked a one drop. Um, I did like this concerted strike. Okay. Looks like Shape Stone's going to be our one drop. So we're just gonna have, um, you know, our two, three, four, five curve as good as dead. with Lucian Senna, Profiteer, Bruiser. Yeah, I could attack Senna and have try to have Lucian level up, but I can also just block with Senna and have Lucian level up by blocking. Okay. I think their deck was a little better than ours. They had more one drops. Those one drops really made a big difference. I should have maybe Mulligan looking for more one drops. I should have not kept that five. Well, okay, so we let Zed level up, kill Fleet Feather Tracker, kill Green Glade Duo, take 13. We should play three Fle Fleet Feather Tracker, I think. Fleet Feather Tracker looks awesome. We need more Fleet Feather Trackers. This is mercy. I could have the Hunter challenge, and then we get an additional attack with Lucian. I get two attacks with Lucian. 
But I don't think I can really afford to have anybody dead. Into darkness. I'll show you how it's done. This one's a fighter. So, hoping this works out. With the current new cards, is there a deck archetype you're excited to build the most? Um... Why? Okay, so keep typing a line. That's pretty good for us. Like, this is honestly just fine for us. Like, that's a lot of cards gone. They only have one card left. Oh. Well, so the one card was just a removal spell from Illusion, but still, they're going to be left with a 3 1. Why can't I double spell? Oh man, that was just the worst possible card for us to draw, right? Because we can't we can't play two cards. All right, good. They still passed. Gotta hope it's not Ghost. Like, I can't, can't, like, it's, yeah, it was Ghost. That's a good, that's a great top deck. It's like, what else is that card gonna be? It was like nothing that they played at all. Yeah, it was looking good there for a little bit, but I just couldn't. If we could just play two units there, and then they have to block, right? Because that put them down to three, but we just couldn't play another unit. Didn't have. Brom! All right, send in the five card, the five mana cards back this time. All of these cards would have helped us win that last game. I don't need uh, they're going Brahmin action. Okay, so this is the first game we've drawn action, so we can start this Warlord's Palace countdown. We don't have the Vagabond in here to help support action, because it's hard, because you, know, you gotta play Merciless Hunter, and then we wanna play Senna, and so it's hard to play all of those uh, cards. Um, and I guess I am just going to go ahead and pass. Decided I had to go to try to kill Braum, had to go with the Merciless Hunter to get more health. Yeah, that was greedy. They definitely should have just minused my Merciless Hunter. That was pretty greedy by them. Sometimes I see wow. Just needs warm spot. Okay, well. It worked out. Yeah, that worked out really well for them. Braum is amazing. So now they have leveled up Braum, and I guess GG. Have you met my shield? Dead meat. Yeah, I mean, I guess good game.
than action and Lucian together. I think, yeah, that's why I think that if we want to make a lucky Lucian, it should probably be with Sivir. Sivir, Ruin Runner, Lucian. But then, like, what's, what's our lucky finds going to be? Maybe Lucian, Lee Sin. Diego Karma. I think they're just going to be so big. There's three treasure seekers in the deck. This is game number four. We haven't seen a treasure seeker at all. That card would kind of help a little bit. It, it, the ephemeral 5-2 is not only awesome, it also is a thing to die for Lucian. Rally to attack for seven. Action. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Lucian's told me a lot about you. Your sinner? That lucky devil. The dark beckons. Stand down. I wasn't exactly expecting that. We love it when they run. All right, awesome. So I think my plan was going to have be action challenge, and then attack with the four three, then attack with the Lucian, so they block the four three and trade. Then we get to attack again. And Draven Ezreal, okay. Could see us winning this one. How? Yeah, Treasure Seeker. We're gonna send you back, and I don't know. I kind of want you, Profiteer. Okay. How difficult is it gonna be for them to kill our units? All right, good sharp sight for the two spell mana that we're gonna have um, saved up after this round, unless we draw a champion. Good card, good card. Steady now. Saying that, you know, maybe they play a champion, we go Hunter. Alright, so we're exactly tied up on mana and cards. Draw a champion ourselves. No. Nope. They told me to keep this one, but I like you. Quick attack is the buff that I want the most. Oh, you miss me. It's like tough. Now we're 
cooking. <sighs> okay, so if I go Prismatic Barrier, they could Mystic Shot and then ruin everything. I think I'm going to go Ride in Negation, because then that just gets rid of another Draven. So that's like two Dravens down. Um, but Ride in Negation for Tribe even Probulator is always really important. So maybe I just go... Sharp Sight, but the thing about going Sharp Sight is then it's damaged, then they get to... Hmm. Let me do this. And I also want to save Sharp Sights for blocking Ezreal, too. Alright, so two Dravens are dead. They have an Ezreal, so they've gotten three champions. Can we please draw some champions? We're not that lucky. Not worth my time. Yeah, I kind of need to save the sharp sights for Ezreal's. No we definitely way. need this Preservarium because we need more cards, that's for sure. Yeah, Pun has a pretty cool name, Sergeant Sloth. I like it. Time for the main event. Is that all three Dravens? That must be nice. Bring in the heat. Cut you a deal. Did have their tribe even probulator, so this is this is what we call a perfect hand. Just have your champions and tribe even probulators. Played nothing but three mana cards basically. plays. Sharp Sight's definitely not a good play with Spinning Axe. Draven out. Okay. That wasn't too bad. They got three mana thermogenic beam if they have another tri beam and probably later. Eight mana tri beam. That was a perfect hand. Absolutely perfect. I don't think our deck was as bad as it looked. I think we got, you know, not like the best luck, right? Like we just didn't have our champions that much. We had Lucian some. We only had action in one game out of five. Yeah, this this game is a lot about champions. But with that being said, I it does feel like probably using Sivir to pair with Lucian instead of action probably would be better. I think that um I think you kind of have to, you know, have like your Lucian support or your action support. It's kind of hard to have both because you really like you you need Vagabond with action and you need Senna with Lucian, and it's hard to do both because you have to play Merciless Hunter. Like you just have to. So it's it's hard to do both because then our our actions just aren't very good without the Vagabond and not really having enough spells. It's it's going to be, you know, as we saw there, like even the game that we had action on round two, we weren't quite. Like we were about to get rid of the palace, but you know, trying to get you know, trying to get a horde and count down eight on the horde, that seems like a really, really, really tall task. So I think I'd recommend probably playing Sen or Sivir instead. But you know, like the the deck was trying to play the lucky find cards and um 
you know, like if you play like Senna over Profiteer, like really should just be playing Senna, you know, that's just kind of, I guess how it should be is just Sivir, Ruin Runner. It's tough, you know, like we're, we're trying out different cards, but it's just, <laughs> you know, when it, when you're playing these other cards, you're like, man, this, this should just be Sivir, Ruin Runner. Um, if you, we want to do Lucky Finds, could you, could we play like Inner Sanctum or Payday? Maybe. But we'd probably just need a different, a different champion. What could we play and still play those? Could have like a, a Fiora type champion where like you can go Fiora into like these different Lucky Finds. So we have, we have some good stuff. You know, we have some good, really good Shreema cards in here. Lu Lucian just didn't, didn't, uh, you know, Lucian just didn't, uh, do enough for how good the champions are these days. The two health, quick attack, which you have with action, but action also generates cards for you, and Lucian wasn't quite, so. All right, anyway, we'll move on to our next deck, but that was Lucky Lucian. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and let me know if you got any ideas for Lucky Finds with Lucian. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear, what would you do with the deck? Uh, got any any of those kind of ideas? Uh, let us know in the comment section. But as always, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.